over the, if you're listening to each one of the styles of the players up here, something that I personally enjoy so much is that there's no two styles the same because none of us had the same background. None of us walked through our musical lives the same. It would be next to impossible to do that. And that's what is so much fun is to listen to the diversity that's up here. And the thing that I'm getting ready to play right now, I was uh, born in Texas and my grandmother uh, taught me how to play blues and boogie woogie when I was a young kid. And I used to go over to her house on the weekends and uh, her name was Duty, and Duty would basically show me how to do all kinds of interesting things uh, on the piano. And then when I moved to Austin to uh, become a rock and roll musician, I uh, ended up playing in bars and clubs all over Austin and in different bands, and we'd go on tours. And there was this one band I was in, which was an R&B and rock band. And uh, I ended up writing a lot of music for that band at that time. I was just, it was just pouring out of me. I was writing five to ten songs a week at that point. And this is the only song that survived that era. <laughs> In other words, the only song I can remember. <laughs> it, so this is, um, this is one that uh, came through, and it was part of a 12-piece R&B band. Uh, that had three horn sections and they had three singers and the, the whole, I was writing all these parts. So in the middle, you'll hear that I modulate down to E minor because in that particular band, the guitar player could only solo an E. So, you know, I had to modulate to what his key was. So you'll hear the, you'll hear the guitar solo part. And for all you guitar players out there, jam with me on it. You know, you know go at it. This is called Knocked Out.